Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abram. You know my partner, Albert Cameron. Uh, you know, I would say what you want. YSU, their, their first pitch breakfast, call it whatever. You get a guy like Goose Gossage, that's a big deal. Yeah, when I saw that, that headline in our talk Absolutely. today, and um, he really locally loves, adores the late Dick Allen, Richie Allen and has been campaigning for him big time. He gets tears in his eyes when he talks about him. Um, he just understands the, uh, uh, how to deal with failure, how to deal with life. His talk had to be outstanding for the people, big crowd. Um, when you land a, a major league player, I consider him one of the top three relievers of all time. He's right there. He's, the Rivera's I mean, number one. Won't take long to get to yeah, him. Rivera's number one, and, I can, and he's somewhere next to him. Remember, he pitched three innings, too. Completely different job yes. back then. He came in in the seventh, and he was finishing. Yeah, what a, what a great comment by George there. Today, every ninth inning pitcher doesn't even doesn't come, doesn't even come in with men on base. That's what my buddy. That's a day. rule. Like, that's that's yeah, a rule. Yeah, like. we were watching. He said, "Well, won't they?" No. He said, "Well, these." Guys. I said, "No, you don't understand. It's the eighth inning. They could there could be a weather alert. He's not coming in. Yeah. Been talking about Gossage for several reasons." One of which you said he finished. Mm -hmm. Two, he really speaks out about these guys today only being able to go he knows. one inning. Uh, don't bring him in with now, – now, here's the best one of all, of all time in my mind. Don't bring him in with anybody on. What is it? <laughs> Reliever. That's what it's supposed to be. Yes. Get yeah. a little bit of trouble when you bring him in. Yeah, so congratulations to the YSU baseball first Absolutely. pitch breakfast for landing Goose Gossage. Also talking about Youngstown State, the women to beat the Milwaukee, coming on strong now, 73-66. Um, Malia Magestro once again with a big game with 23 points. Now they move to 9-14, and 5-8. and eight. Remember, they have to get in this in the, in the, in the tournament. They're sitting in eighth place right now. Uh, they're going to have to really work hard to get in there. If they get in there, maybe they can do some damage. Uh, once you get in... That's what you play for, George. You're oh, All year. The whole year starts completely over. No, you're oh, oh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Because I know I've been on that other end and holding my breath playing some team. And like, you know what? They're, what do you, first thing you say when you turn the film on? Mm -hmm. They're better than Way better. Because you're playing them. It's different when you're playing. When some <laughs> other guy's playing them. They ah, they're, yeah, they're not. Oh, you know, you'll kill them. Then you're playing them. You're like, you know what? That point guard's not too bad. You know, I know she can shoot. I yes. don't want to leave her empty. Truth. You leave her open, guess what? Dead, dead eye. No. In high school, we have West Branches, so Sophie Gregory, a thousand point score. Congratulations in their victory over Salem. Um, took a lot of pressure off her backs. She knew that record was coming on her. Uh, she knows Salem's arrival. Great crowd. She was excited. Twelfth, twelfth lady warrior to score a thousand points. Yeah, you know, she's talking about doing it in front of her friends and family. You know, that's one good thing about games, rival communities close by. I remember when I first moved here way back. Our closest game was 40 minutes. That's not good. So I got out here, and we'd no sooner get in a bus, we'd be in Newcastle, <laughs> yeah. we'd be in Grove City, we'd be in Sharon. And I was like, dang. That's a great comment, yeah. George. You weren't used yeah. to that. No. Not like at these all. people here, her family could drive Where 20 I minutes yes. and, and, and see her break that record. That's a big deal. But like you said, you know, it, it, I don't care who you are. You set a record or hit some milestone like you that. You don't get a thousand points out of an accident. No, like because you. you now figure. I'll say this: I've said it on the show. It's easier to get a four-year player yeah. three-point rule. Yeah. You can see, but still, you have to you have to really play. Oh, I know I was nowhere near the floor in yeah, ninth grade. Thousand points. You know that? Yes. I was nowhere no, near. We had junior high, and yes. you played junior high. But no, I agree with you. A thousand. I think it stood percent. out about her, George. Three sport athlete. Yeah. And that is the part that we've been talking about so much. Yep. Yep. That college coaches like to see what mm -hmm. you do in other sports. They want to, they want the word com competitor to the nth degree. Can you compete? Yes. Can you fight losing? See, that, I was talking to oh, you you were on, I remember I think we had him on the radio, the Duquesne women's coach. Yes. And he said, You think the games are tight around here when Canfield plays Poland? He said, multiply that by 75,000 when countries are playing each other. Yeah. He recruits his bigs in Eastern Europe in the summer. He watched those games. And he said, listen, you have not lived 
till Serbia and Croatia are playing. playing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all in. All in. All in. It's not Alabama Auburn. No. Believe me, it's way worse. Yeah. Three sport athletes that so would go to the best of all around this area. Mary Brandt, not a three sporter, a four sporter. Um, got a full ride to to co to college for soccer. Uh, I'm assuming for softball to Robert Morris. But when I read up on her, George, <laughs> four three year. That's amazing when that, that happens. There's that, you just don't see that happen. No, Twelve letter. I mean, that means your lettering is a freshman. <laughs> And all four sports. And, and, and I, I know I could see maybe a mass sport like track where there's so many points. Right. Your, but, man, basketball and softball, you letter, soccer, whatever, that is impressive. Yeah, so that we had, want to congratulate Mary well for done, that. Well done, girl. And, well and, done. And, and please pass the word on to your, your, your rest of your family that they can play more than one sport and still get a full ride. <laughs> Somebody, somebody in AAU has tried to convince people. No, it's so stupid. This is what you do. You and she you. said that. Even she even said she said, you know, this is my. So other kids realize they can go play D one, D two, wherever. It may not be the top of the top, but you're still going to play in college. And that's what you always say that to me. Wow. I'll say something. You'll go, if he or she played in college, they're pretty good. Yeah, we, we we're talking about Division three. We're talking about John Carroll right now is third in the country. No. And, Grove City uh, football, they lost by a field goal to the national, national champ. champion. Yeah, so around here, if you get a scholarship or you just continue to play, I know you're a big-time athlete. We big know good player. Malia Magistro was. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My gosh, she was good. Yes. She's a terrific player. And, you know, they just, I say, why well, is you got dumped yesterday? Yes, they did. The, on the, the road. It's hard to win on the road. We've talked about that it's second game on the road. It's hard. Very tough because they look good. Friday night they had me who and an yeah, they beat Wright State. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. because I looked, I said, you know what, these dudes are good. I'm thinking, can they beat someone in the tournament? I think you they have can. to get in. I think they can, but getting out of this conference is going to be tough. And you said something about the they're NIT. They're the best team, though. I think. What did you Still tell playing. me about the NIT? You told me something. They're going away from the runners up in the horizon and going five seven deep in the. No, they're going. The away from, they're going away from the winning. The, uh, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the second place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, George. Yeah, the team that uh, yeah. does no. If they win the regular season, it means zero. It yeah. means zero now. They're taking they're taking the tenth place team out of North from the Carolina Big Twelve State. or the ACC. Or they want whatever. crowds. That's money. It's yeah. all about money. Yeah. You figure you throw Pitt and uh, Penn State or that was like an automatic, automatic automatic bid to the NIT before. Absolutely. The young stuff State. They they won the regular yeah. season, lost yeah. in the uh, yeah. tournament. Yeah. They were getting a bid. It looks to me That's there's gone. about four teams there. The, the, this uh, Purdue Fort Wayne that, that that wouldn't have been one of my thought going in. They're good too, though. Oh no, they're good and, also. You know, I know Robert Morris isn't bad. They can upset somebody. Let's also. put it that way. They we'll can upset saw, somebody. No, I like I the said. The only bad is Detroit. Detroit still has not won a oh, game. Oh my God, I saw a score. And there. I remember they had some, had some great teams. Too. I flipped through there the other day early on free plays, and it was the game had just started, and it was like thirteen <laughs> two, and they were home. You know what I mean? I thought, yeah. oh man. Something happened to the Detroit Mercy there. Yes. I don't know what happened. Down the tubes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Biggest week of the year. You know, I know the three-week tourney, March Madness. I know. I know the World Cup and other parts of the world. But if you live in the good U.S. of A., this is the week. Yeah, you'll see me and parties. You'll see Super people. Bowl. They plan their parties around, us, yep. around the Super Bowl. And uh, uh, don't think don't – think TV has a plan their t whole year oh, around Super Bowl. Coming too. on at noon for six thirty. How does the restaurant there? They they close every Sunday. Open Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, what kind of? They must sell a million pieces. They will do it, yes. And a million wings out the door before six o'clock. I remember this like it was yesterday. The Steelers were playing at Detroit Super Bowl. I'm driving back from here. There were fewer places open than there were Christmas Day. <laughs> Uh, by six o'clock, the pizza was gone, the, the, and they just put locked the door. They do. They, boy, do they sell out. Oh, and, and, anybody that has f munchy foods yep, or, yep. or foods you can get to deliver to the house. Biggest one day event. Yeah, I think. It is. I say. Yeah, I, I, I say. thought maybe you might have something better. No, I think. I think. And it the is. line hasn't moved. Here's the other thing. We talked about this in the radio. Whoever you ask, I've asked sixty people. Just one, two, three. Everyone says two things. One, they say Kansas City. And two, it's followed with 
I can't bet against my home. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard that ever? Oh, every day. Okay, so it's every, not just every, me. Yeah, every day. But somebody's betting on San Francisco. Yeah, the line well, hasn't it's changed. Move. Yeah, the line hasn't changed at all. But uh, Mahomes made a major point of that. He wants his third Super Bowl. And, you know, it's, uh, he's trying to catch Brady. Where do you want? Okay, give me, that's another thing we didn't talk about. He's trying about. to catch Brady. Where does he have to go out? And, no, he doesn't. I, mean, I don't think he needs six. What does he need to, to separate himself? Say there's the Brady wrong. Right. Then there's a Montana. But even though we know quarterback skill-wise, Elway may have been better. Right. But where does he need to go to win four? Yeah, four, I'd say. You He's got two. I say yes. He's only 28. Yeah, he gets to four. But it's hard to win him. Oh, you know, no. like this year, nobody had Kansas City. Middle of the year. No. Nobody thought Kansas City would be here. They either. didn't score the second half last week before you get too crazy. Yeah, they're not They're not in it because of their offense. No. Um, That's another they're, thing. They're, they're there because of their defense. This That's year. another thing people don't know, though. Uh -huh. You have to admit it. The average fan thinks Mahomes, touchdown pass. Right. But here's the thing about, and I'm going to say about Kelsey, we've only had this talk 70, <laughs> this 78th time right here. How is the 11 for 11. Now, you tell me he's 6 for 11, right. 7 for 11, 8 targets, 5 catches. I'm fine. How in the world is he 11 targets, 11 catches? Yeah, we saw with our own eyes. He, he, he would catch us two screen passes, then he'd run down the middle of the field wide open. Then he'd curl up wide open. Yeah. Like he has skunk spray on <laughs> yeah, or something. Like. No one wants to touch him. <laughs> what is story. the deal? It, it, and when they were struggling in the middle of the year, teams started double-team him. I want to see. Be interested to see if Samson goes back. Now to that let me time. ask you. This is not not really on the other side, but it's in the middle. Mahomes' father over the weekend, third DWI. It's a felony. He faces. He won't. But a possible prison uh -huh. term. Could that work on that no, kid's mind? No. He is so focused. Yeah. <laughs> not even a thought. Yeah, he's watched his dad probably drink his whole life. <laughs> I said, you know, Dad, I'm going to go play this. I'm going to go win a Super Bowl. Okay, I'm yeah. just curious. because you. Yeah. Can, and that's that, my thought. That's what I think. Bad look, though. Isn't it a bad look? But, but you understand, there's people over the country. Oh, yeah. And that, that's the part that bothers me. Yeah. Because he happens to have a son. He's famous. That plays quarterback. Yeah, yeah. It happens all over the country. Nobody's putting the headlines in the paper. Well, the other thing, but you can afford a ride, too. You could look at it the other way. He's got to figure well, out. No, but I'm saying. Yeah. Just. Just that I, happens every day. I, I just don't. I don't know why. When I was younger, you know, I was a goofball, too. But. My last 20, 30 years, I yeah. have no tolerance. Yeah. If that's your granddaughter crossing that road. That's tough. Like, I got a buddy that, that drives, that's and tough. he shouldn't be driving. And I'll tell you, if he ever has an accident, that's on him. Because right. he knows he can't. call him out, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, mm -hmm. let me ask you something about that. Uh, the 49er with the most to prove has to be Purdy. Man, he's already proved it to me. In me, me too. <laughs> but I'm just saying. He's proved it to me. Oh, I, I th think he's fantastic. I think more of Shanahan more than Purdy. Oh. I, uh, Shanahan has to win this thing. The baby lobster. Because he's been oh, he's no. been raved about as the oh, number one this, coach. Oh, I'm on the way over. Here it is. <laughs> well, I know Shanahan will think of something. He said he Constantly. he's a master. I said, does he has he won anything? No, I, he I must have been out of town. Yep, they keep saying that. Yeah. And that's why he's, he's the one that's going to have to put one on his mantle. Um, to, to be started, be started up on my talk, no, you know, because no. he's a great offense of mine. But I never see him win games with doing something like, "Wow, he did." Or you say, you know what, he outsmarted. Yeah, that guy. I don't want to hear that. Hey, Al, the, the thing I'd ask you: if you were giving someone a prop bet, someone said, "Hey, Al, you you do that for a living. What do you like?" Would you say uh, CMC with a tutty or two? <laughs> I mean, real, the odds, well, the odds have to be pretty big. Yeah, I, oh, I'm not saying you're making much money. Yeah, the odds have to be big. You have to lose. I think you have to lose a lot of money. Because he, the second touchdown. one would put you over. Oh no, two touchdowns. Yeah, those odds aren't big. No, but one touchdown is. No, I generally. My play guess him. is maybe 190. I generally guess play him for at least one touchdown. That's what usually is. Well, he's used almost every game. Oh yeah, if they're close. He's running it. Yeah. Right. The only thing is, Ayuk and Debo and them, they could go from long distance. They don't have to be at the two. Right. And, and then the, the guy I like, and he's done well for me, the tight end. Kittle. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons. <laughs> Boy, they do have a lot of weapons. I saw him the other night at an NBA game, at a Warriors game. I think that boy has a lot of fun in life. I, I, I have a feeling. How about he came in as a 195-pound walk-on in Iowa? Oh, he's a monster. He looks like he a monster. he decided he wanted to be a player four years later. So yeah. He said, all I did for three years was drink mm -hmm. and have fun. And the fourth year, I said, I watched a guy yeah. from Iowa. Make it, yep. and I'm thinking, I can do this too. He did it. Yeah, he has done it. He's right there. You, he you, has done you, it. You, know, you go under Kelsey level, 
Couple, no, right behind. He's, he's, he's Kelsey, right in that level with the kid from the Lions yeah. and a couple others. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Now, the NBA. I don't know how I feel about this. You know, I'm not an Embiid fan, as you know. I'm so tired of seeing him laying on the floor. This time, it appears. He's injured this time. Yeah, yeah. he really is. It's yes. a meniscus, and he's going to miss some time. My question for you is, do you think trying to play when he wasn't 100 may have helped cause it? Not with him. I would say no, because he's always sat out. Unless the rule, he's worried about that rule. Well, he was down to three games. He's out of that. I don't think he's worried about the rule. That's what I would no, say. No, he was down to three no, games. No, I don't think so. I'd, I'd say no. That game's misprovision, could it have a bad effect in that, you know, these guys. That's what you're saying. You, well, I'm asking. What no, I don't do you think, think? No, I don't, I don't see it at all. Well, they don't play. What, what? I wouldn't see it at all. <laughs> I mean, these guys are missing 17 games. I don't they think they're worried like about it. That's nothing. I don't think they're worried about it. I, I, you they, don't they'd think rather, they'll play they'd, anyway. They'd rather play. They'd rather not play. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So the only it, reason they would play. So it didn't work at all. If there's a 1.3 million uh, oh, there is. There's bonus money in, oh, written, yeah. written in, then they'll play. Yeah. But if it's not, they're not playing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, here's the other side. You've talked about it because you said about your grandsons. You don't want to pay $1,000 a ticket. Head out to Cleveland, you pull it, and they say, oh, by the way, by the way, LeBron's not playing tonight. Yeah, that's what, I don't care if they play or not. No, that's I, not, that's not, but I care if somebody bought a ticket, and they went to see LeBron, and they now it's 10 minutes before the game. By the way, LeBron James is not playing. playing. <laughs> that's like, here's the one. I mean, the my other, goodness gracious, no, alive. The other night, the one that drove me crazy, the Lakers go into Boston. No LBJ. No eyebrow. Boston's going to get them. <laughs> they ran them off the floor. That's the that's what happens. And you, then you, you just say, said it best. Yeah, it happens still, high school, others are pros. That's a high school, college There's pros. There's pros out there. If you're not ready to play, the yep. other group is. And that's what they thought. They, they thought it was going to be an easy victory. Yeah, they did. Once you think that, yep. you're, you're going down. Now, how yeah. about the genesis? Is we got to blame Popovich. Can we blame Popovich? He started it. See, and I always tell Al the funny story was Duncan and Ginobili were a little older. And Parker would go to Pop, and he'd go, Pop, I'm not as old as they are. I can play. <laughs> he sat all three of them. Yeah. He started it. He's what it started. I would believe. Um, I saw what I thought was a good little fan duel prop, that Jokic is now the favorite, but it's only like 120. Other than the freak, can anybody get that? that no. Am I missing? No. So I think it's a good play. Yeah, he's the guy. That's what I think. Yeah. Uh, Giannis, they're talking about, you understand, we both coached. You got Doc Rivers, which that's their problem. Uh, the fact, they're talking about their defense with rim protector Lopez and or him. How can that be that hard? What, about, what are they talking about? They can't get the defense down. What? what the, am I missing something? They can't get the defense yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have two protectors? Or yeah, those well, are? I don't know. I don't, my point is, with those dudes in there, what are you doing anyway? What but do you I'm, need? But I'm going to say nobody needs to protect them anyway. Because <laughs> they don't shoot them in there. No, not that no, many. No. no, The only time they go in there is when it's unprotected. Yeah. If it's somebody's there, they're shooting a three. And they're kicking three. it out anyway. They're, kick, they're kicking them. Most, they're shooting a three. They're kicking it out anyway. Yes. Uh, and you said it best. I think rest, I think, becomes more important than these. To you them see, it is. Yesterday, that NFL, they had that all-star nonsense. That's what it's called, by the way, right. all-star nonsense. It's a name of that. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a 20-some thousand difference between like 88 for the winner, 68 for the loser. They spent that much at the strip club that was, over the weekend. It, over, that they that much fell out of their well, they pocket. Have, they have. No, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Now let's talk about NCAA hoops. I'm on one thing. I don't want to be favored on the road. <laughs> Just mark me down. Like, hey, Al, you got this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a year of uh, not a call upsets anymore. No. It's no. a year you, you go play on the road. There's no dominating team. Three weeks ago, you said it right at this desk. You said, I don't consider an upset on the road. Yeah, the stats prove it, too. Okay. The stats say that the favorite going into an unfavored gym does not win. And the Purdue had a nice win yesterday over Wisconsin, which is hey, that, was a, was a, I'll a, take a, a five-pointer in a row. Anytime you go in on the road, it's a good win. Because yeah. Wisconsin yes. had just gone... OT with uh, Nebraska. Right. Now, Kansas, I, I, every once in a while I see one. I might miss 10, but I see one. <laughs> Houston going into Kansas Saturday. Well, Kansas has been playing bad, too. Yeah, I know. That's what happens. You get in that home. You, you, you see somebody coming to, yep. uh, ready to play, yeah. How about Tennessee? Did they put the century mark on Cal Perry? I think they scored 100. <laughs> yeah, they're playing differently. 
Yeah. They're playing different. Both teams are playing. That's Do you they, like that guy, teams. that big score of theirs? Connect, yeah. He came, he came from Montana. Nothing yeah, he was a Juco first. Yeah, but, but he came, but, but, but once again, it's the same thing. Montana, yeah. Yeah. they build him up. I know. They make him good. I, okay. And, and he goes to Tennessee. Albert, I watched one shot. He puts it in his left hand, dribbles into the corner, squares up, and shoots a jumper that only a big time player could shoot. Right. And, and he's 6'7. And yeah. I said uh -huh. to my buddy, I said, they got a, they got a gem there. You said Purdue getting by. We never, we never speak women's basketball, but I have to today. Just, I swung by the other night and I put Caitlin Clark, I put the second half of that game on. If you had a granddaughter or any type of younger. Uh, Grandson to play like her. Uh, good. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I'm talking about the role model. My yeah. gosh. They're little girls. They're, they're, they're almost like they saw Santa oh, they Claus. Idolize. Oh, yeah. They idolize My her. God. They should. And She's that kind of does player. Does she have any shots? She has every shot there is. You know what the biggest problem is? Those big girls can't catch her pass. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that, but yeah, I know. if she doesn't bounce it, they don't catch it. But yeah. uh, she is my C. Now, when Steph shoots against, if I'm if I'm remembering right, I saw that other girl bring four racks. It depends yeah, where they're shooting from. I don't, I don't know where they're shooting from. That'll be, that'll be, the distance will have everything to do with that. Okay. Because you know, her three-point line's closer. If they shoot her line, she could beat Curry in her line. Yeah. Yeah, no question. He doesn't care where it's from. Yeah. He could shoot. That's what I'm saying. Logo. If she has to move out there. Now remember, this is he's not shooting her. Oh, he's not. He's shooting Inescu. Oh, it's not the same girl. No. Oh, no. I didn't know that. No. Then, then he's winning that. No, the ones who dreamt the four, this one he's shooting against drained to four racks. Well, that's what I'm talking about then. But that isn't Caitlin. No, not Kevin Clark. Yeah. No, I'm talking Inescu. about Inescu. Yeah. No, I'm talking about her. I've seen her drink no, if, four if, racks. No, if Inescu shoots at her distance, yeah. she'll beat Kurt. Yeah, 20 if, 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 But if she has to step out three more steps, no, 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 then she's not. No, no, that's a big difference. Yeah. NCAA football. We never saw this trend before, and you and I are old. Guys going from head college coach, grabbing a coordinator's job in the NFL to get away from this crazy kiss her butt year-round yeah, NIL. And that's not going back. That's, that's going to keep happening over and over. You see all the older coaches getting out for good. Well, the younger coaches can't get out, so they say, how can we beat this? We'll just go to the pros. That's all I want to do is coach. Guy, guy I want other, to coach. I, I don't a, want to I heard a guy say the other day, you, you, you said, new eyes will say, they used to give five weeks off. Yeah. Not, not, now they're recruiting their own players, trying to get them to stay. Have to recruit your own players. That doesn't even. But that, as you're recruiting your own players, you're recruiting money to get them to stay. Yeah. You have to have a. Big time like a war recruiting chest, war chest. Yeah, George, yes. No, you're, you're exactly so that's right. Not part, that's, not, that's why they didn't get into coaching today. So the BC coach has a nice year, wins a bowl. Nice bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's he going to do? Nope, he's going to the pros. He couldn't wait. Coordinator. He couldn't wait. Uh, they're paying seven figures for offensive talent. That's part of the problem. Uh -oh. Remember the day the Nebraska coach got on? They said, man, they said, I don't know what you're doing. They said, but you need a court. He goes, you don't think I know I need a quarterback? He said, I'm going to tell you what to do. He said, they're going for one to two million in the portal. You got two million? I'll get one. Yeah. Money is behind, our, behind the scenes is, is way past we can imagine. What these kids are getting, and I call them kids, 19 years old. Yeah. That's why I can't blame them. I, I, I mean, I don't no, like it. No. I, mean, I hate it with a passion. Yeah, well, can't but, blame them. But you get a call from, and they say they don't call, they do. They call the best quarterback at, at, at uh, yeah. Coastal Carolina and say, hey. Yeah. Why don't you play for the tie? If you want to come here, yeah. we're going to give you we got an apartment. $2 million. You saw that apartment that kid in Southern Cal was That's a way out of line. That's way that out was line. embarrassing. Yeah. yeah, that's way out of line. I looked at that picture and said to myself, this isn't. Yeah, that looked like the coach's house. His, his house is better. Yeah, it looked like Kingsbury's house yeah, the looks time like he was house. on. Yeah, it looks like somebody's house. How, did they, we'll talk about that in a minute because that, that ruined my whole weekend. Now, here's a question. I don't know. I don't have an answer, but I'm going to guess. With Harbaugh gone, what's going to happen at Michigan? Well, they pick it up a good time because kids want to go there. You know, they saw how okay, they, okay. Yeah, he couldn't pick a better time. Okay. Their recruiting class is still in the top five. Okay, that's, yeah. that's, that yeah. was what I mean, my the, question the, was. The guy couldn't pick a better time. He's already related to the kids there. He knows everybody. And, you know, the kids recruit kids in college. You know, you get them on campus and show them around. Uh, they love everything about Michigan right now, and they won. Now, he won't continue to win national championships. No. If that's what they're thinking, no. they're wrong. But, and Ryan but, Day is all in this But they're going to put, they're gonna put I some I just say he got up. another top guy for next year already. Oh, they always do. 
My so that's Lord. why I don't I don't consider they always no, do. No, no, that's a good point. Guy yes. calls our radio show yeah, all the time. They always do. Tells Al and me. And finally, after about two or three years of them getting beaten in the line of scrimmage, we basically said they got to show us. Yeah. Because we've been show reading for how long. It. Yes. Yeah, don't tell us. I don't want to hear 24 7 rivals, seven, five, five stars. Go, nine, yes. 17 <laughs> blue chip. All I know is Michigan beats them up. Yeah. Yes. Nope, I agree with you. They lost the strength coach. That's, that, that's, uh, when I heard that, that he was, went with that, them. That was big. Okay. That was really big. You understand the head coach does not spend as much time with the kids no, as no. the straight coaches do. No, the you, straight coaches are, are, are the key co component behind the head coach yep. with regards to developing players. And uh, Michigan lost theirs. Those guys go in there and they come out, they look like they, they don't look the same. They, they don't look, no, no, no they need Pitt's guys don't look no, the same. No. Remember, we had that one Pitt lineman on our show. Couldn't get through the door. I mean, he came in, he had to come in sideways. Yeah. MLB, guess what? It's around the corner. Pitchers and catchers are ready to report. Uh, everybody's optimistic, but what do you and I know? Yeah. What are you, you going to give me six? I'll give you six. I didn't give me six. six. We didn't even talk. Nope. Six teams right now can definitely can, can win it. Handful. Yeah, that's all. Six out of the, uh, the, the 30-some teams that can win it. They can't. They can't. They you don't the other teams. know. I you know, I'm, you're the baseball fan. Love it. I just watch it. Now, I do watch a lot because I don't, that's what I, I do. do. But nothing upsets me more than the Dodgers. First of all, I think that's so unfair. It not, is unfair. Not having to I don't care what anybody it. says. Yeah. And then on top of you it. You spend billions and the other team sp spends it. Yeah, who, who should win? Five million. We'll go out and have a race in the car. And I get out and I go in a Lamborghini and you get in a V-Dub. I'm winning. You are winning. That's right. I I don't root, and I'll root against the Dodgers. Who's our hope? A lot of Braves? people will be. Braves? Oh, Braves. There's, there's two or three teams there. That okay, Yankees. I mean, they're still the Yankees. <laughs> all right, miscellaneous. I got about three minutes. Brady all of a sudden shows up. He's changed it, combined with some other brand, that TB12. But he's talking about his uh, announcing gig and that ridiculous salary, which is just ridiculous. He's practicing already. Do you think he'll be any good at it? I mean, well, I just, can't predict that. What do you think? I can't predict that, George. That'd be stupid. Because yeah. I, I guys who I thought would not be good end up being great. And guys who thought, yeah, that's, that, that, this is complete. Has nothing to do, first of all, first of all no has point. nothing no. to do with play. No, 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 no. Let's put that. It means that absolutely yeah. nothing. Like this guy was telling me today about this coach wasn't a player. I said, you means have to nothing. tell me something else. I said, yes. It means nothing to me. And don't forget, just so some of the younger people, Montana quit at halftime. Yeah. yeah. He, he just, and him and Brainerd are the two best. Yeah. Right. Uh, all eight head coaching positions filled. No Bill Belichick. Boy, some old timers are wrong. He'll have a job in five minutes. They all want Bill. Yeah, in today's world, it'd be tough. It'd be less uh, ch trying to hire us. And we tell them that if you're late, you're not playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said your best player. Not, yep. Oh, here, we can't hire now you. Now, let me <laughs> ask you. Uh, <laughs> Belichick needs two seasons, eight and a seven. He wants it so bad. I know, to catch Shul. And I mean, and you remember, Shula called him Belichick, in case you forget. He is. <laughs> okay, well, you know. Now, the Steelers hire an OC. Let me ask this. I, I don't want to be critical because, first of all, he might be great, Arthur Smith. But they hire a guy who wants to run the ball when the whole league passes the ball. What well, the only mean? chance they have, they know it. That's, that's why they hire him. You don't have a quarterback. You don't have a great offensive line. you got to make it you gotta run block. Uh, that's, the, that's how they get in the playoffs. They get in the playoffs by running the ball. They're never tops and passing. Never. Now, we got a minute. The Super Bowl is in Vegas. Can you remember for years <laughs> yeah. NFL would put their hands up? No, no, no. Let's not talk about oh, Vegas. We, we laughed Remember about the that. UNLV games weren't on the line. We laughed about remember that. Do you remember that? Oh, we laugh about that. They're so off on that. Now, all of a sudden, they're welcoming them with open arms. We're going to Sin City. Series What's cash. it about? Series cash. Cha-ching. You heard it here. <laughs> Bottom Line Sports Talk. See you next week.